Dr. Alemi, and I'm going to show you how to use Excel to construct risk-adjusted X bar chart. Here is our data. For months of July, August, and September, we have the observed cost as well as the expected cost per patient. For ease of demonstrating this, I have hidden the columns C through D as well as other columns so that we can just see the month of July and its calculations and we can also then after we have calculated for month of July proceed with the other months. I have also displayed the differences for all three months in July, August and September in columns J through L. The first step is to calculate the average observed cost. So that for that, we use the function average, open parenthesis, and highlight the observed costs for month of July, and close parenthesis. In the second step, we calculate the expected cost, and that's the average of each one of the patient's expected cost in the month of July. In the third step, we have to calculate the standard deviation, which is a function in Excel for the months, for the differences in the three months that we have the data. This is the standard deviation for all three months combined. In the next step, we have to calculate the standard deviation for just the month of July, which is the standard the standard deviation function uh, or actually it is the value of standard deviation calculated for all the months and I'm pressing F4 to put dollar signs around it divided by the square root of the count of number of observations in the month of July the first parenthesis closes the count function and the second parenthesis closes the square root function. The upper control limit is the expected cost. And I'm going to again press F4 so there is that this doesn't change when we copy it. Plus 1.81, that's the t-value for 10 observations times the standard deviation for the month of July. And the lower control limit is the expected cost, pressing F4, minus 1.81 times the standard deviation for the month of July. Let's do the calculation for the month of August. So the observed value is average of the observations in that month. This is the average cost for that month. The expected cost is the average for the expected values for each patient each patient in the month of August. The standard deviation for all the differences does not change, so it's the same value. We don't need to recalculate it. The standard deviation for the month of uh, August is the standard deviation for all differences divided by the square root of the count of observations in the month of August. And the upper control limit is standard deviation for all data, the expected value, plus now we have nine data points. And we have to estimate the t-value. I'm going to take for my estimate for t-value as 1.9.
although you can get a more precise estimate uh, from looking up the table inside the uh, internet and this is multiplied by the standard deviation for this time period Similar calculation can be done for the month of September. The T value for the month of September is the same as before because it's now 10 data points. It is uh, uh, the upper control limit is equal to the expected value plus 1.81 times $21, which is the standard deviation for this month. The expected value minus 1.81 times $21. Now we have to plot this, and for ease of plotting, I'm going to take the uh, observe cost and put it uh, at uh, next to the control limits so that I can easily plot those and we highlight the area we want to plot and we say insert a line chart so now I have to go and fix this chart it, does, it doesn't look right right away first I am going to make a uh, everything bold and black. Next the control limits have to be all in red. I moved the format chart area to so that you can see it. Uh, so I'm going to click on this again and uh, change the color to red upper controls should always be red, lower controls should always be red also and there should be no markers, in this case there are no markers the observations can be any color um, but they must have markers so I'm going to click on here and select uh, markers and under marker options I am going to say that it should be automatic and uh, uh, let's change the fill also to a color that is more easily seeable uh, the only other thing that we have to do now is to label the con axis. To label the axis we click on the chart and ask for axis titles and then go in and write the titles. Uh, this is cost and this is time, time periods. to remove the chart title which is not needed anymore and it's good to readjust the range so that it is uh, only the area that we are interested is displayed <laughs> 